Breathing sensation, hands and feet. It is abnormal. T1, T2, stir. I really like stir for cord disease. There's the enhanced study. So what do you think? Is it an abscess? Is it demyelinating disease? Is it an astrocytoma? Is it granulomatous disease? Or is it subacute combined degeneration? Thank you. I'm going to end up on the right, on the right note, literally. Here. Right, so. Book them down. All right. And the ants. Okay. Um, that's a tough case. Um, I think all of these are possible. Uh, let's go through abscess. Nobody liked that. That's good. Uh, cord abscesses do occur uh, over this extensive of a pattern. Be very unusual. Kind of a weird location. Why dorsal? That doesn't make sense. Demyelinating disease. Eh, possible. Astrocytoma. It's really extensive. It looks a little bit more infiltrating. Doesn't have a real well-defined margin. Possible, but unlikely. Granulomatous disease is the correct answer. Subacute combined degeneration, who knew that it enhances that much? It's really not in my differential for something that big that enhances. This is granulomatous disease. This is sarcoid. More typical pattern is going to be the high signal, sort of the enhancement, lumpy, bumpy, nodular pattern, leptomeningeal disease. All right, last question here. Uh, multi uh, let's think about sarcoid. It's a multi-system, non-caseating granulomatous disease. The CNS involvement in approximately 20% of cases. Most commonly involves the meninges, cranial nerves, hypothalamus, pituitary. Spinal cord and adjacent spinal meninges are rarely involved. Which of the following is true except? The answer, yeah, I kind of split a little bit here. Um, yeah, it's still unusual for sarcoid. I mean, we see, you know, maybe it's just the, the people coming in, but it's unusual. I mean, vast bulk of the stuff that we see is going to be, you know, brain parenchymal disease, left, I mean, optic, think optic chiasm when you think uh, sarcoid of the brain. Uh, and the weird one is going to be, again, CNS involvement by itself is uncommon. So even though we may be seeing this stuff, they're kind of funneled in, and it's an uncommon disease to involve the CNS. Let me just run through real quick. I wanted to show you, again, make the pitch for stir in the cord. Uh, throw away your heavily T2 weighted images. We don't care about those. I don't need to see the bright CSF. I want to see the cord. Um, here's a cord abscess, just to show you what that looks like. And then sort of the more vague stuff that could be anything, you know, big boggy cord enhancement. This is primary viral infection. Uh, but again, I think the take home here, that inflammatory pattern looks different from what you saw for tumor um, you know, and uh, any type of demyelinating inflammatory could, could be that. And then here's what subacute combined degeneration looks like, that high signal intensity involving the dorsal aspect of the cord. Okay, so we did uh, a bit of a whirlwind through uh, spine. Uh, again, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. it was